Higdon Outdoors Television is brought to you by Heavy Shot, the industry leader in performance shot shell ammunition. Tetra, hear the hunt. Yukonuba, the official dog food of Higdon Outdoors. Momarsh, hunt hard, hide easy. What's up, Johnny? Yeah, Everybody wants to be happy. Airbnb. Yeah. First door on the right. First door on the right. All right. You brought it all the way from Sumner. Custom. Yeah. Copyright. Oh, yeah, Copyright. <laughs> Absolutely and totally burned these ducks. Well, break hot tub. We made it. How was the trip? The trip was a little delayed, but we got here on the same day, so I've had worse, that's for sure. We will take it. It looks like some a good whiskey glass, don't you think? You gotta stick your finger out when you that's right. drink whiskey out of this. So we're really like right here by Portland. We're 15 miles from the airport. And how far are we hunting from here? 10 miles. Yeah. And it's unreal. Okay. Yeah, I'm down for that. It's different. You drive down the road, and whether it's in front of a grocery store, the median, the interstate, your backyard, if there's water in it, and any type of vegetation, covered in ducks. Everyone. Between here and the airport. Same summer. So. Pressure's not nearly as big of a thing as it is back home. Just watch out for the weed patches. Right. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not talking about <laughs> wild millet. <laughs> <laughs> Brooksville. So like how many bushels of corn do you think you got out there? Like per acre? When y'all looked through it the other day and it looked like you took a yellow paintbrush and just ran through that thing right now. Oh, we were watching them the other day, wood ducks, they jump up on it and try and knock it down and stuff. But this, this year's a good year. They just haven't been knocking it down. Hey, one thing's for sure, after a day it's not gonna be quite as good. No, I <laughs> promise you that. We're hunting my backyard today. I don't like to go in there in the dark very often and set up. I like to go in there right about daylight, right about shoot light, and bump these birds out, let them soft loft out of here. What happens is the birds come back, but they stack on top of each other. And in the dark, you can't see that. All you see is 30 ducks in the decoys, but above them is 50, 100, 200. I don't want to burn all my birds right off the bat. Being smart about it, I know the wind's going to pick up today. I've got a full day to hunt. It makes the most sense to me to go in at daylight. We're back again in Washington. We flew into Portland, so really cool. Ira's here, Bo's dad's even around this year. The whole family's here, and uh, Bo, myself, and Ira, we're gonna go hunt Bo's backyard. I'm really excited to have Ira here. Brooke and my dad, and we're all conversing and just having a good time. And my backyard, very special place, lots of birds. I'm pretty sure we're gonna burn it. Set up some versa blinds, get some stuff brushed in, throw some decoys out. Bo's gonna show Ira and I what the West Coast is all about. Stay tuned. Might have gotten a little ambitious here. We've been using this VersaBlind all over the place. Here we got a pull, pull string spinner, jerk cords. We have to move a little bit, so if we can get down in a hole, it makes it a lot easier to do all that type of stuff. <laughs> you can run this thing anywhere. It's nice to have stuff that's podular, and, and you can, you know, if you've got four people, you bring four of them or whatever, but if you got three people, it's pretty compact and easy, you know, versus something that's a one-person deal and you got to set up multiple ones. Yep. It's a nice tool to have in your arsenal, that's for sure. Old Tonto over there is like, man, can I get some of that?
gonna door dash for Brooke, Richard. Brooke, do you know of door dash? Do you know anything about that? I'm walking. <laughs> Let's go kick these little boys up. Whew. What a journey. Many a day. I spent scaring ducks up out of this pond, the exact same scenario. Now we got the inventor of Mo Marsh here, my dad. There's just so many cool things. Life is truly a blessing. Your puppy only gets one start to set the foundation for a lifetime of performance at your side. Fuel growth and activity, support digestive health, and give him a training edge to one day flush, point, track, retrieve. So when the gear comes out, he'll be ready. Make every milestone count with game-changing puppy fuel. Yukonuba Premium Performance Puppy Pro. Come on, Brett. Nice. That was good. I got him there right. I'm you get that spinner, I don't know how to explain it, but these ducks here just are just obsessed with it. Yeah. Not like back east where some days they work, you know. They just suck right on top of it. One pass, one pass, one pass. Killer, Ira. Good shot. Thanks. Nice job. He turned into a she. Like how they did that on me? <laughs> it's like, kill him, kill him. I'm like, uh. Yeah. You know what, Brooke? I love hunting with Ira. He didn't even hesitate to shoot those, shoot those hens. <laughs> yeah, he comes from Missouri. He's this boy knows that he's ready to kill some ducks. He's from Louisiana. Oh, he's from Louisiana. <laughs> it's all in the pot. They all brown in the pot, bro. Let's get it, dude. <laughs> oh man. Kill the drake, Brett. Left. Yeah. Good job. Good thing uh, we have battleships out here because I want to <laughs> shoot. I want to shoot that crippling. I mean, just smoke that decoy. Whoops. It's still floating. It still has a head too. I mean, the whole thing went poof. <laughs> it's like whoops. Gosh, I love wedging. Oh man, that cotton top was so pretty there. Oh. That, it was just back flapping too, just beautiful. There was only one problem with that. You said, get him Brooke. I was like, oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Equal opportunity environment.
Kill it. Kill it. Ira. Ira, kill it. Good job, Ira. <laughs> Oh. Hey. Good job, one. boys. Another one for the pot, and the Brooks let him down for me. <laughs> Tickled his tail feathers. Good job. Yeah. He worked nice. Yeah, he did. He just took a little bit, you know. These mallards, these Western Washington mallards are a smart breed of the mallard duck. He was pretty. He did it nice. Yeah, it was beautiful. He came right to where he was supposed to go. Yeah. After waking up at 4 a.m. in the freezing cold of opening day, when that first bird locks up in the decoys, you better be packing heavy bismuth. In the waterfowl world, density is the name of the game, and bismuth is 22% more dense than steel. That means cleaner kills and less work for you and your dog. Heavy bismuth has a softer shot that's safer for older fixed choke and classic double shotguns. So when those birds light in front of you, give them the bismuth. Kill him. Good job, Rick. Nice shot. There we are. Good job, buddy. That's how I like them. I don't have to call at them. Just let them come in. It's perfect. It's the best kind. Self-starters. Yeah, self -start yeah, exactly. I like the self-finishers. <laughs> self-finishers? <laughs> yeah. Great. Pull that drake. Good. He did it nice. And that's it, Brooke. Bo said shoot that drake, and you know, Bo makes the rules, so we don't Perfect. Do it. Hey man, he came in beautifully. He did. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you're gonna get greedy or take the one in the hand. The pigs get fed, hogs get slaughtered. <laughs> Is that as soon as that bird comes in, knows something's wrong, and backs back out, they're all out. Yep. So that ah, worked out good. Saw them way out there too. That's big boys. Here she comes. Here she comes. Don't move. Get him. Through the tree. <laughs> <laughs> she, it, it was bouncing, bouncing off the trees. She's like, I'm gonna come a little closer. <laughs> Good job. Get him, Brooke said, said again. Get him. I said get her on that one. Everyone on Higdon Outdoors Instagram is gonna get to see Bo miss three times and you clean up after him. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't happen often with Bo. She fooled around just a little too long. Yeah, she made two fatal mistakes. One was living here. And the second one was flying at us after she'd been shot. Yeah, that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Coming hard. Oh, you. nice <laughs> shot. <laughs> that's that one on the water, Bowie's heads up. And he's a storm. 100%. Oh, he is. He's a storm. Son of a nice. Good. Yeah! Yeah! He, robbed you, he did. He robbed you. He did. You came in I mean, the first bird I'm going to tell you what, left. though. <laughs> I've said Ira. I said Brooke a lot today. <laughs> you have. I didn't. I didn't say. What anything. a host! I, I, what I, a host! And I just shot my first storm of my life. Really? First one. That's cool. It's cool. Uh, yeah, never seen a storm me? in the hand, but you know it, sh it should have been my bird and all that. But uh, no problem. No problem. Just since it was your first. Are you Bo. kidding me? <laughs> It's okay. He'll be he'll be back hunting with you next year. We'll repay the favor. Yeah. Oh, he's all fired up. Oh yeah. Look at that. Cool man. <laughs> hey, you ever heard of shoot your lane before? That was on the far right, my friend. <laughs> uh, Look at that. That's cool. That's a good one. This is the widgeon I just shot. Okay. And this is what a normal widgeon looks like. You can see them side by side. That's a storm. That's a normal widget. 
Man, I'm so excited. There you go, buddy. Congratulations. That's cool. There's not a feather out of place. I mean, I just I thought I just destroyed him, but look at this. Look at his tail, too. Holy cow. He's a dandy. Yeah, he's a, a really good bird mount. Oh man. Come check out the face. So what makes them a storm, you have all these freckles in there, is where it's the lack of freckles here. See, it's going through his face right here. It's all white and stuff. Man, that's so cool. There you go. I didn't have any clue when I shot him. I just saw he was a Drake Widget, and I'm like, oh, well, let's shoot him. He's a beauty. Here you go. One o'clock. Hi. Go for it, buddy. Kill Hollywood. Oh, on the up, left. Up, 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 up. Up, hey. Up. There he is. <laughs> Ira, right, now you really have a mixed bag. On I mean, penguin. I was looking for that Drake spoon, and from, he just from earlier in today. There. <laughs> yeah, came to Oregon to shoot some color, and I got a pretty ugly strap going here. <laughs> That's all right. Oh man, they all taste like scallops anyway. <laughs> oh, Duck chowder. Look at that. Good job, Ira. <laughs> Good job, Ira. Well, thank you, Bo. <laughs> I appreciate you letting me shoot a uh, hen spinny in your corn pond. Hey, it's an immature drake. Oh, I thought it might be an immature drake. That's the only reason Look I at shot. That. <laughs> Look at he's starting to go. He'll never reach adult spoonhood. Poor guy. You know what? They get a bad rap. They're freaking cool birds. They, they can fly, that's for sure. Did you see him coming in here just like... Whiffling. And... It's like oh, a blue winged teal, but with an airfoil on its face, you know? Yep, no. No. Put him on Bo's strap for me. <laughs> sure, I'll take it. New from Higdon Outdoors, the Apex One Piece Full Size Canada Goose Decoy. Our Apex Stake System gives you lightning fast setup and realistic motion. Precise detail highlights every feather with XHD Hyper Feathering. Finish birds closer and maximize your hunt. Visit HigdonOutdoors.com or your local retailer. Higdon's One Piece Canada Goose Decoy, Apex. <laughs> and he was on the phone. <laughs> oh, sorry. He just shot one. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to go for the one handed shot. Keep the fiance happy. <laughs> <laughs> just another day at the office. <laughs> oh, shoot. Well, another good afternoon in Bo's backyard, even though there wasn't a ton of birds flying around, is we can hunt this spot tomorrow because we didn't burn it up. So there's been a few thousand birds using this pond, and I don't think we saw 500 today, but me, Ira, and Bo were able to, to get our birds, luckily, and 
but it's cool because they're still happy somewhere else. They haven't seen us. They don't know what's going on. So we're going to leave the blinds out, leave a handful of decoys in there, probably just put them close together, set them up by the versa blind, and then we'll see how everything shapes out. I hope we make it back out here and uh, get to enjoy Bo's backyard again. But like always, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy it. And right here in, in uh, Bo's backyard and some flooded corn, which kind of makes me feel like I'm at home, except that we shot uh, quite a few wisions, got our pentails, shot some mallards, a spoonbill, shot some ringneck, so had a lot of variety, got some cool ducks, and we're gonna call her a day. This was great, we got a few birds at a time, small small footprint, I mean, we didn't shoot into a lot of big groups, and we didn't educate a lot of birds, so I feel really good about the next time we hunt this. It was really a pleasure, Ira, and I really appreciate you coming out here and hunting. Thanks, man, enjoyed it. <laughs> Oh, always, yeah. always lots of smiles when I hold you guys, that's for sure. I really appreciate it, man. I'm a widgeon, a widgeon hunting son of a gun. This is my first storm widgeon. Not a true, st I mean, he's start of a true storm, you know, he's got, he's got his white in here, he's got his white patches, got his little chin strap. It's a cool bird, man, look at that. I, I mean, looks like a pintail when he's flying in, but. Can't ask for much more than that. What an amazing day. It's an amazing company.